Hello everybody, it's Frugal Mama and it is Tally Up Tuesday. Yeah, I just made that up, but you can use it. No problem. <laughs> just joking, y'all. Yeah. Um, so I've started my channel with when I started the 30 and 60, losing at least 30 pounds in 60 days, which I almost did. Lost 27 pounds, 27 point something pounds. Um, but that's behind us now, moving forward. It is September 1st and it's time to set some new goals. So, before we do that, I would like to reveal, let me share my screen, my weight loss for up to this point. So, hopefully, you can see that screen. Can you see? Okay, good. So, so far, Last time I did some measurements was August 17th. Buns was 39.5. And today, I just measured before this because I wanted to make sure I could get everything on the screen and not look like a blundering. Um, let's just leave it right there. Don't want to stay positive, <laughs> okay? And let's see, okay. Bus, 38, no change. And under bus, I saw Lafay and I think PJ's thriving. Maybe did the under bus, I'm not sure, but I think I'm pretty sure Lafay. But anyway, check out the channel 32.25. So that's a new measurement I just started. And then the waist. I was like, oh, okay, because this can kind of change depending on what kind of reserve you're working, but this shouldn't change. The underbus shouldn't change. So I think that might be a more consistent. I'm going to just add it on. Because you know, as you can tell, when I first started, I needed to take measurements. So those non-scale goals, you know, are victories. Ugh. Progress, I should say. Waste. Last time, August 17th, it was 36, and this week is 35. I mean, and now it's 35. So, a couple of weeks, I got a couple of inch difference. Neck 14 stayed the same, everything else pretty much stayed the same. Okay, so it says I had a I need to take this one out for now because I don't know how this is affecting. Click, click. Oh, I'm lost a total of 17 inches since May 30th. And since May 30th, I've lost 34 pounds. Boom. Now, just the other day, I was down to like 162. And then I was like, okay, September 1st is coming up. And I kind of fell off my. I need to make sure I'm watching everything that I eat kind of mode. And then what I did was, I'm going to stop sharing and then just talk to you. Okay. So then what I did was, got, I ate chicken wings two days in a row. There were different types. I had lemon pepper and then lemon pepper in atomic. So yeah, the last couple of days I've just been like, okay, it's a new month coming up so you know I'll get back on track being type of mentality which is is I don't know I guess the old way but I'm I'm getting there I'm getting there so thank everyone for your love and support throughout this time so I wanted to talk to you all about what my goals were last month and what my goals will be for September and what to expect with my channel so last month I wanted to work on less snacking. Did I work on that? Yes, I worked on it and I improved. So even though like you can't tell that I've lost that much weight since um, the end of last month, I made any change, significant change in the, my inches, but I have actually improved what I snack on as well as the amount of snacks. So yeah, I'm, I'm pleased, okay? So 
13 pounds since the end of G July. Yeah. I'm looking down over the screen. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I think I did better with the less neck and I wanted to pay closer attention to actually calories and I started off so good. I did my fitness. Is it my fitness pal? Yeah, my fitness pal for like a week or two and then just fell off. Because when my blender broke, I was so disappointed. I just let it just run, you know, the rest of the the, the rest of the month. But hey, it's a new month and I'm moving forward. My glasses are clicking in and it's so disturbing me, but I don't have another pair and I won't be able to see. So sorry. Now my goals, oh those were my two goals and to drink more water. And most of the month I did that, but it was about a week when my Mother Nature had made the, her wonderful, beautiful approach, and I just fell off. But it's just a moment in time. It's just a moment in time. So it is what it is. We all have those days where it's easier than others, and some days it's more challenging, and that was my time. Okay. So my goals for September and what to expect. I'm excited. Like, it's a lot of challenges and stuff that's going on. So, I am currently 163.8 pounds. And it's amazing to know that in March I was in the 200s, 207 pounds. Okay, yeah. Leave it in the past, leave it in the past, leave it in the past. All right. So now, but I want to say bye bye to the 160s and I want to be in the 150s. And that's only 3.8 pounds, but so much can go wrong in just a short amount of time. So that's it. I just want to get out of the 160s. My stretch goal is to get out of the 150, just completely just go to the 140s. And if I do that, I am going to reward myself with something so spectacular that I don't even I don't I haven't even imagined yet. So put in the comments what you think I should reward myself with. And I don't even have a clue what I may want. But a spa day sounds nice, but the world isn't ready for that. Uh, so if I get into 140s by the end of September, yeah, I'm getting a reward day. Okay, but the goal is just to lose 3.8 pounds by the end of the month. It doesn't have to happen fast. It just has to happen. And I want to enjoy the journey along. You know, I, I kind of like, you know, when you watch people channel, you kind of feel like you're kind of getting to know them, that you, you're kind of cool with them. I just want to see everybody, you know, like reach their goals, even the non-scale goals. Like people are trying to save money and just making total improvements in their lives staying motivational anything okay so but i said i'm not gonna make this long okay so scars and stretching is monday wednesday friday in the a.m 6 a.m tuesdays and thursdays 6 p.m so this will allow me time to make some more videos i have like four videos i'm waiting to edit right now because I don't have time and i'm trying to get better with my editing but it's yeah it takes time Light stretching and cardio, including, you know, some calisthenics like we've been doing. You know, it just depends on the day. I'm waiting on people to join me. Do your favorite exercises with me. You can join. You can actually join if you want to stretch with me. But I understand if you're getting ready for work, hey, just play, put me on. And then if you feel like stretching, I'm doing something that you can do. Do it, you know, just, just join, you know. Because uh, sometimes I'm watching, um, it's something on Instagram and the people. So if I'm washing dishes or something, I'm looking at them. Or if it's something I can do, some lunges to the side, I'm doing it with it. I'll just try to incorporate a little bit of fitness in everything I do. If I'm cleaning up the bathroom, I try to incorporate it as well. So anyway, just a suggestion. Join me. What I call it, Stretch Nation. I made my own nickname for the new movement, Stretch Movement. I'm so silly. Huh? Anyway, this is what you get. You get goofy when you join Scars and Stretching. 
Okay, so um, what else to expect? Weekly weigh-ins. Um, so we'll have, what did I call it? Tally up Tuesday so you can see how much weight I lost because I am going to lose. And if I don't, better looks next week. Okay. And one of my fellow support loop members, Sarah, is she started Sweat Timber. So it's hashtag Sweat Timber. So each week you try a different type of exercise. Um, so I started today and I did bands, did bands like this workout thing, you know, with the things, you know, with the bands, you know. So I'm doing this for actually 14 days. And then I'm also going to do the Chloe Ting, 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 Chloe Ting, Ting, um, after 14 days. So since mine are like 14 days, I'm only going to do two instead of one each week. But I'll put some footage together and see, make, let y'all see what it do. Okay. And what else should you expect? I'm going to do like a glute type thing. It's from, um, I looked it up today. It is so weird. It is called the, okay, so Chloe Ting, Ting is Get Abs Challenge. And the other one is How to Get Around But Two Week Challenge. You know, I'm all about some challenges. This helps just drive me, you know. And then um, not much on Sundays. You might throw a little something in there with the, you know, the boys or the family. Like my family, when my family decides to come on through with showing up to the trails when we're supposed to walk and stretch. <laughs> and then on um, Saturdays, you'll have my frugal finds. Um, and then I just have like lifestyle stuff where we have different this or that. I have the video. I just need to edit it and upload it. My this and that video where we answer some questions, either this or that. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can get with that. Anyway, nutrition. I still do smoothie, juicing videos, meal prep, um, you know, different things like that make life easy, easy, tasty stuff. Because like I said, I'm not the best chef in the world, but I have to feed the family and myself. So we make it do what it do. And the way I get myself and the boys to try out something new is to cook it, have them cook it with me. Look, oh my gosh, my posture. Okay. Um, anyway, is to involve them in the making of the food. So they're excited about it just like I am. So just just a way to get the kiddos to eat something new, me as well. And then we all have other collaborations like the one mostly come out on Fridays with the support loop um, for small weight loss channels, like under a thousand subscribers or something like that. Anyway, if you're interested um, on Friday, we are releasing a wonderful collaboration about, you know, motivation and whatnot. So look forward to that. It's every other Friday usually. And then we have Hulu Hoop Chronicles on Wednesday. So I get with a group of ladies and we have candid conversation about what's trending. Okay, it's cute. We hula hoop for 30 minutes. Boom, chakalaka laka. And if you want to be involved in the conversation or just the hula hooping in itself, you can do that as well because it, it will be streaming live on YouTube Wednesdays at what, seven? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so let's see, seven, seven thirty. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. So that's about all, you know, I'm looking forward to, I got to get back on drinking the right amount of water because that helps flush all those toxins and whatnot. I wanted to do another 10 day green smoothie cleanse and, but I don't know how that's going to go. I might just drink the smoothie because the boys wanted to make a smoothie today. And I said, okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Just get them involved again. Just get in the vegetables. Anyway, yeah. But um, so, yeah, I don't know. We just play it by ear. I like to just eat what I feel a taste for. Um, so I don't have to experience any cravings or whatever. I don't want to be 
hungry. I want to eat before I'm hungry because if my body is hungry, that means that I'm either thirsty or waited too long to eat. But with intermittent fasting, you may start to get some hunger cravings because you're going like 16 hours, which most of the time for me, I'm asleep. So it doesn't really bother me because then I have me some warm like um, key lime water or some lemon water, whatever I have, some kind of citrus water in the first thing in the morning. And then I have some black coffee. If it's some nasty coffee, I will be adding almond milk because I still want to get that because I didn't realize it had those, uh, what are they called, thermogenic type properties that coffee has. But the coffee, the type of coffee is important. Like you want to have some organic or some good quality coffee. Otherwise, it's counterproductive. Um, so, but I'm not anti-coffee. Like when I finished the green, 10 day green smoothie cleanse. I didn't want coffee, but then I just wanted it and I started um, reading about some of the health benefits. So, anything you do have some health benefits, some benefits and drawbacks. So, take the good with the bad. I like to sit out and read a little bit of the news or something in the morning just to like clear my mind after I meditate. I guess it's not really clearing my mind, but it's been me time. Anyway, I'm blabbering. So, I'm going to go on and um, just looking forward to the month, look forward to a couple, many, many, many more videos. And just because the weight is losing and I'm almost to my goal. So if you want to know my goal, I say that I will be comfortable at 140 and people are like, no, you need to stop at 150. I'm just going to stop when I get it. The, 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 the figure, figure, figure that I want to lose weight. But then I'm just, even if I get to a proper weight, I want a healthy, proper weight because you don't want to be where you, your body doesn't fit your frame because it's so small because my body didn't fit my frame because it was so much larger than it was designed for previously. Uh, anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I know it was a little chatty, catty, but that's what we are I'm mean, basically doing here is to kind of share and express what's going on during this process because it's not just about the weight loss, folks. It's about the entire experience, okay? But I am looking so forward to the month of September. I'm, again, my goal is to lose at least 3.8 pounds. I'm hoping because we have a holiday here, we have Labor Day, and then you prepping up to buy, I mean, to, for Halloween, I mean, for October, and here comes Halloween, candy starts to go on sale. Eat candy. Uh, but I don't want to look at this. Look at what's one more time. Let's see, so look at that. 17 inches gone. No, never to return anymore. Okay. So anyway, I am um, excited about the month of September and thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, share, make sure you subscribe to this channel and join me for scars and stretching. I need people to join in and show me some more exercises. Okay. All right. This is about the building the stretch nation. What? Yeah. I, I, I'm making it up. Yeah. Spread it. Spread it. Stretch nation. You know what I'm saying? So for people who only have five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you don't have to be there for the entire time. Just pop in, say hello, you know, whatever. I'm, I, it doesn't matter. You can join. You can just watch. You can just say, hey, keep it going. Because like I said, that was the foundation. And I'm so happy I stuck with it. And I'm still sticking with it. I, even on vacation, I'm sticking with it. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to make this video more than 20 minutes. I meant to make it like 10 minutes. Love y'all.